How about like, this versus Raven King? Snake versus... I like this matchup. I, I have not seen this matchup, man. It, or maybe I have, it's been a while, but... It's been a while since I've seen it top level, <laughs> but since I... I've been playing a lot of Ike recently, and I... I play... I main Snake, so... I, I like to see this match. It's just another one of those matches where, like, Snake has... <laughs> He, when he gets juggled, it's gonna be very painful. But if he can maintain neutral, it's, it's not so bad. Like he has the great projectiles to just you know not deal with Ike's boxing game or aerials really. But that's what you want to do. Like you just want to always be in a position where you're not getting nared on in combo. Yeah. Um. Uh, quick shout out to Ramses because if you guys don't know him, follow him at it's like at Ramses underscore esports. He had a really good conversation about like fighting Snake within a certain range. Because you do have to keep that in fact that there are situations where it's okay to be close to Snake and it's very bad to be close to Snake. And you kind of have to really value that risk reward factor, especially with a situation like this where you don't want to be anywhere near Snake. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword because, you know, Ike needs to get in a lot of times to, you know, get his harder punishes. But if you mess up on Snake, it's going to be a really bad straight not in your favor. Nice, I like the parry down tilt there. Yeah, and Alan did start off this match um playing kind of aggressive playing in raven king's face but then i noticed that uh once he got punched quite a few times like all right <laughs> i need to respect this guy oh yeah. bad air dodge bro okay he's gonna go high oh, nice. nice i like it yeah oh that's up yeah shield that doesn't get the strong hit but that's i like that alan. Too. yeah alan didn't commit to air dodge he just landed to the ground and uh, that's exactly what raven king was waiting for him to just land with something laggy so he could punish it so even match here. Oh, never. Oh, why did that happen? <laughs> he missed he that. Percent. Yeah, he missed That's, that. That actually does happen to me sometimes, and I still don't know why. I think you just literally have to be too slow for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. easy right there. Yeah. He of the moment, man. When you're pressing buttons and you're trying to get the right execution, you can sometimes falter. It happens. Yeah, yeah. Human okay, great, error, great as we lead. Call it. Great lead for Alan. This, I mean, still living, almost doing sixty percent. Yeah, and you see Raven King honestly just standing his ground on the stage simply because he's looking for Alan to make the recovery. He knows he's going to go high with Cypher. So the next possible and logical step here is to wait for the landing. I like that empty hop here because he baits out the grenade and then he waits for Alan to actually commit to the air directional air dodge. Yep. A part of being a good Ike player is mixing in empty hops with Nair. So they never really have a read on what they're gonna, you're going to fall on their shield with. Yeah. When, you, when you see like the low level Ike just constantly fall into their opponent with Nair, that's how they tend to get punished. But of course Raven King doesn't make that mistake very often. Not at all. There's a reason why he's got King on the tag here. Unfortunate there though into the grenade, he finally managed to land on here. And he puts Allen almost at disadvantage and he sneaks right back here. A couple C4s right behind him and he catches the landing center stage. Excellent yeah. play from Allen. That was a great anti-air. I mean, once you can start punishing Ike just for jumping in neutral, that's when you know you really have a good uh, situation for yourself. Oh my god, all the armor, the huge hitbox of the ether going through everything there. Uh, oh, and I missed it, but it actually cost him, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> didn't mean to uh, Nikita off stage like that, but great punish for Raven King queuing himself in this game. All it takes is one opening for Mike, to be honest. Great oh, up yeah. air. And you can tell the Raven King is actually just looking for it here. Excellent up tilt just because he's able to catch the landing on sort of stage here. That's a great pull Ooh, nice. onto the grenade. Wow, like what a play. Yep, really good awareness from Alan Dis. I like the pummel just to get the grenade to pop him up right into the up air. He was actually enough stun from the grenade for that to be true, which is crazy. Yeah, but, uh, that's crazy, man. Oh, good yeah, stuff. great stuff. I think Alan Diz actually has been in the finals uh, of MSM Online before, so I'm not super surprised. But yeah, uh, yeah I do I do really like watching this matchup, just because it's really volatile, I would say. I think about let's it see, like... Let's see what does, though. He has a really good Joker as well, and Joker's a little bit better matchup. Definitely beat Snake, in my opinion. Yeah, um, I, I agree with you here. I think in this matchup, I look at it as like... Ike is very much strong in their bread and butter, uh, bread and butters of like getting your empty hops, playing neutral, being able to go ahead and just tomahawk grab those situations here. But Snake, he kind of gets to trap the neutral, and, and when you put that together with Ike, it can be pretty rough for him. But also, Ike knows if I do win this neutral exchange, there is a lot of damage to be had here. Yeah, I, mean, I just really like how Ellen is playing in disadvantage. He's uh, he's making it really hard for Raven King to get super hard punches when he does get in, and uh. 
yeah, it's just he's just also mixing up how he uses the grenades really well too. So even when Raven King tries to like mix up the empty house with the nares, he uh, isn't just getting free punished most of the time. Yeah. Excellent use of the tomahawk right there. We kind of talked about how that, that's pretty much Ike's bread and butter here, especially in the neutral. Mm -hmm. I like that. He waits for the grenade too because he knows if I grab Sneak now, there is grenade. Yeah, he's actually been really patient about uh, how he deals with the grenade most of the time. Yeah, on, on, and I totally feel it too. Like, you know, once you get a hold of Snake, you definitely want to deal with him as soon as possible, but always pay attention when he does have Grenade here. Raven King looks again with the excellent play here. He stays on the stage here to punish the landing, looking for that opportunity he can find, but he misses it narrowly here. At, at once again, beautiful Tomahawk grab here, man. You, yep. you could definitely know he's not missing I, his bread and butters, and he finally gets the landing here. That was a pretty autopilot of uh, reverse by Alendis. Um, you just see that a lot from Snakes. I like the using the armor. That was actually a true combo, but damn, it did 41%. That's crazy. <laughs> but, uh, right? But yeah, a lot of snakes when they land, they just kind of be reverse without really looking at what their opponent's doing. Got to be careful. Yeah. Excellent neutral oh, air right to the back true. Of here. Yep. Okay, going high again. Going to stall with the Nikito here. Nice recovery. I like that. Good for Maybe King too. Speaking of recovery, like he knew. Okay, hold up. Let me a little. Let me empty hop in place here because Snake does have center stage. He can pull it a lot more off of me. All right, some patient play here for Raven King. Oh, what a catch! Catch of the nice. day here. Catch of the day. Huge. I like that he also recognizes that Ether has really good horizontal range as well, so he can actually scoop people from pretty far as well. Nice stuff from Raven King. Holding on to three stock to one lead. Yeah, just keep throwing out the ether. Why not? Oh yeah. Definitely. If he, if especially if he gets the reward of the armor as well, it's just really good for him. Oh, excellent quick draw here at the last oh. second. But unfortunately, laggy dash attack still able to get out. He, oh, oh wow, he went stuck? for a really hard punish. I like it. <laughs> but uh, man, that was a really stylish way to get the stock. <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh yeah. Nice ether again out of shield. Even if he did get hit by that up uh. Up smash would have still had the armor. Nice. Patient play once yep. again, yep. He hits the hit, sees the grenade, just stays still. Okay, double back here. Ooh. Ooh, so smart, so smart. Really good choice of forward smash, seeing that he was uh, forcing free fall. And he's already brought this back from just one grenade combo. Great yeah. comeback here from Alandis. Oh, nice. Dash back F tilt, force him off the stage a little bit. Ooh, still gets past the air with the air dodge. Oh man, that movie is just so strong. It was already really strong and then they buffed it. Yeah. I love it. I love it though. It's one of the best landing traps in this game. <laughs> I think about it like not being such a oh, it's a middle rift six here off on the stream. Um I think of it not as too much of like, oh, why do they buff that move? It's totally fine. There are situations where, like, that move isn't such a big deal. You know it's a lot of commitment, and if Ike gets it, he should definitely reap the reward. Because, like I said, it's a lot of commitment, a lot of startup, a lot of in-lag. If Ike misses it, it's a lot on him. And if he goes for it, it's simply because he knows he has the read. So why not give him the bigger reward for the read is what I say. Yeah. I mean, I'm not complaining about that move. It's just a really good punish move. Like, they can't just throw it out randomly and hope to hit you with it most of the time. Yeah, yeah. So can't you can't you can't really get mad if you get hit by it. Normally, it's your own fault. Exactly, exactly. I, and like I said, I can't complain, man. It is Raven King on the stream. And I do talk about how I love to see these high-level players every week here. But let's go on to game three, of course. Winner Sammy's this is best of five. Sometimes Vance forgets that, but here we are mm. here. Game three, pretty pretty important game just because it puts you up at set point. Counter picks all the side with that. Yeah, you guys are pretty even, honestly. I don't just basically brought that whole game back off of like one good play yeah and before we kind of get into a little bit of the scramble here huge shout outs to red bull gaming i'll get into a minute i'll get into that in just a minute here but oh no oh. if i can get to anything in a minute here it is that miss input in game three that's rough getting snake pretty much a free stock is really bad he's so hard to kill and uh yeah. he can be very defensive if he wants to um yeah, Raven King's gonna have to put in massive amounts of work to bring this back, in my opinion. Yeah. Unless Alan Dis just does something silly and die really early, but <laughs> I, don't, yep. I don't think that's gonna happen. 
in the world of online Smash, man, anything can happen. But yeah, hopefully for Alan, it does not happen here. Good catch with the side special here once again. Nice. Excellent catch with the dash attack. Raven King is so good at that. Mm. Pretty much understanding the landing that Alan is going to go for. He's making this SD look like oh, the homie stock, man, because he's got that 114. Yeah, Alan is actually jumping in some really bad spots, to be honest. And it's letting Raven King get a lot of free punches. That was a great dash attack. But yeah, if I was him, I would just keep staying grounded. Just, yeah. just in my opinion. Good stuff on Raven King too. Speak about staying grounded here. He stays patient as well. He knows I do want to catch this guy, but if I go a little bit too over aggressive, I will fall into Snake's game plan here. Ooh, nice tech chase. That was that was that was a very difficult situation there for Raven King, just because if he tech rolled back, if he got up, or if he rolled tech, wow. Alan had already covered all those options, and that kind of put Raven King on like a pick your poison situation. Yeah, that's the thing about getting down throw when the grenade's in front of you. You're not really in very many good spots. Oh, he went for it all. <laughs> he lost the stock for it. I don't blame him. Stock up. If he got that nair to hit when he had no double jump, he would have yeah. definitely won. But uh, oh. let's see. Let's see if Raven King uh, has enough to bring this back. It's not going to be easy. Ooh, what a great timing, too. He's able to actually get away from the grenade hit. Yep, that was actually perfect spacing on the up there. Tech chase? Oh, Oof. goes for a Nair instead. I, re I definitely respect it too, because he thought maybe he might have tried to pull a grenade, but I think it would have been great for Raven King just to wait for the get-up option here. There's a backup from Alandis and the Nikita, but he narrowly misses it. Uh, unfortunate for Raven King. Two SDs. You hate to see it like that. Honestly, uh, pretty rough. Pretty rough for Raven King that game. Yeah, two SDs, but no GGs yet. Alan King is up on set point still. So yeah, good stuff. Uh, we talked about it earlier too. It's really hard to catch up, up against Snake just because he's such an excellent neutral trapper. And there's a lot of neutral uh, to be played. Like, it's a lot that you're going to have to fight for, specifically against Snake, where he benefits you going after him. Raven King did a lot in the patience here, but unfortunately, like, when you're down a stock, it's really, really difficult, especially against Snake, so... Yep, that's why SD had zero when you don't do any damage. It's like super uphill battle in this matchup. Yeah, and Alan just definitely demonstrated one of those really good opportunities to kind of like, like I said, pick your own poison, right? Do you want a neutral get up? No, there's a, there's a grenade. Do you want a roll get up? Well, pick a, pick your poison because there's either a C4 or the, the smash read. So we'll see how things go here. Of course, Alan just is on set point here. 2-1. This is best of five here. Winner's semis here. Alan just needs one more to go. Raven King on the back foot. Can he pull through? Three, two, well, one, I mean, it's definitely possible. I, he's already demonstrated that he can uh, play this matchup with Ike. Yeah. Honestly, I want to just give that last game just, you know, Mulligan really. Like, he literally just died at zero. <laughs> he didn't even <laughs> do anything. I would, I would talk about homie games now. You know, homie stocks is one level, man. But homie games is a whole other story. And Raven King. Well, you can, you can oh. see. Oh. No! No way. Raven King. Look. Oh, this, no. Look, if I want to say anybody has the sauce, is Raven King. He has a sauce like. But unfortunately, he spilled the sauce right there. Yeah, these are some really, really bad SDs for Raven King, especially when he has so much momentum. Now, Alan, this is content with trading. Like, he's already got almost 60% just from trades alone right now. When he was uh, looking on the back foot of this, of this game. Yeah, 84 here. He does get the armor, but unfortunately there's shield. Oh. Watch yourself. There is a C4 here, and he can pull the trigger any time here. But what an excellent catch again from Raven King. Off stage now. Yeah, go to him. Get him to go to quick, for quick draw. Just because if he has to go for a roll the stage, that's where Snake wants you to be. Patience is paying off here. He says, pick your poison, man. I'm not going to go for that play. Oh. oh, there's the up tilt. Now Alan Dis. Again, with a huge stock lead, he's going to drop that one, but man, he, he's really, really looking pretty right now. Like, he doesn't really have to do anything crazy. He can just keep Raven King out, keep these trades, and uh, yeah, it's up, to, it's up to Raven King to really, you know, make this comeback happen. And it's the way Very you can see there. Alan, Alan also play with the grenades, too. You see, there's a grenade in place. If Raven King did not go for that jump, he would have got hit by the grenade. So he's always covering a lot of options. Even if he has the grenade out in his hands, C4, you name it, he knows how to continuously hold this lead. Raven King using the up B to just get through every explosion possible at the ledge. Still massive amounts of work to be put in here. Alan is extremely difficult to hit right now. 
Okay. Nice. I really like with that. that C4. Yeah, yeah. The C4 and Nikita falling on the ground there. Very, very difficult to punish. Yeah. And it's really good for Alan because in that situation, what you want is to make sure that Ike has to hold shield. Really powerful little temp there just because he forced Raven King to roll. Couldn't find the punish. Oh. Raven, King, Raven King finds him before the landing. Okay. He's brought it to a last dock situation. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, that's a Alan lot did. to deal with. That's a Alan just said, I, I, don't, I don't know what you're thinking, man. Landing on top of me. I, I'm not going to let you do any of that. No nares, no combos, nothing. Just just hold the up tilt. And uh, yeah, Alan just going to move on to winner's finals.